Hey guys! So I said in yesterday's video that I was going to be doing a video soon about what I eat and that is what today's video is going to be about. Just for the record, I am four pounds overweight. If I lose that four pounds, that would be great. If I don't, I'm okay with that too. I'm okay with being four pounds overweight because you know, it's such an insignificant number that I think I can still be healthy and be four pounds overweight. So yeah, I've made a lot of changes and some of the changes I've made is I felt as if I was always dehydrated and I was always complaining about having dry skin despite the fact that I used face and body moisturizers on a regular basis. Well, I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that I was drinking too much coffee. Um, I love coffee and I have to really limit my intake of it or I will definitely overdo it. So what I started doing was I allow myself to have two cups of coffee in the morning and that's it. I don't allow myself to have any more coffee the rest of the day or night unless it's the weekend. On the weekend I just drink however much coffee I want and I don't limit myself because I feel like if you're too strict with yourself um, that's going to make you want to do the opposite and then not have any restrictions at all. So that's the best way for me to deal with it is to just say two cups every morning but on the weekends whatever. <laughs> uh, in addition to becoming more hydrated I feel like this has also helped me sleep better because before when I wasn't restricting myself I was having a cup of coffee every night after dinner and then I would have trouble sleeping. I would wake up like so many times throughout the night and I thought that maybe the coffee was a contributing factor but I didn't really want to believe it because I didn't want to give it up. So now I just have those two cups in the morning usually and um, then I sleep a lot better at night but I feel like my skin has become much more hydrated. Now as far as what do I drink the rest of the day, I just drink filtered water. We have a water filtration system attached to our sink so I just drink the filtered water and um, I used to drink carbonated water like um, seltzer water or uh, yeah, mainly just like flavored seltzer water that didn't have any calories in it or any sugar or anything like that. But carbonation leaches calcium from your bones and my mom has osteoporosis and I really don't want to get that, you know, because I think most of you know what osteoporosis is. It's, it's just a condition where your bones are very brittle and prone to breaking. And if you've been subscribed to me for a while, then you know that I broke my elbow a couple of years ago. Um, I was doing some, um, I, I had a pair of like clippers and I was clipping this bush out in the yard, just trimming it a little bit. And I tripped and fell and I landed on my elbow and I broke it. So. I don't think my elbow broke though because my bones are brittle. I think it just broke because that's just the way I fell. But um, yeah, so I don't drink any carbonated water at all anymore. And I always used to pat myself on the back because I didn't drink soda. And I thought oh, I was being good by drinking seltzer water, but really that carbonation is, is not good for you. So I just drink plain filtered water now and um, just my two cups of coffee in the morning and that's pretty much all I drink. And I try to um, make sure that I get enough water throughout the day and night and most of the time, you know, I just, I just drink whenever I feel thirsty or whatever, but sometimes you have to be careful with that because sometimes you don't, when it's not warm, especially like in the winter time or when it's cold, You'd, I don't think you really feel thirsty as often as you should in order to get enough water. So I just try to be aware of that and drink plenty of water. I don't like 
set limit so I have a bottle where it's measured or anything like that. I just try to be sensible about it. Now as far as what I eat, we have cut out poultry. We used to eat a lot of chicken and turkey and we don't eat any of that anymore. And then as far as beef goes, um, I eat that like once in a great, great while. Like uh, last weekend I had a hamburger, but it was the first hamburger I had had in pff, over a month, I would say. So I would, you know, I really, so I eat beef like once a month and that's about it. And then we do eat a lot of seafood now. Uh, not every single day because I don't think that that's probably a good idea because you know you have to worry about mercury levels and uh, too much of certain things that are in seafood but we do eat quite a bit of it I think I feel like we eat it um, I would say probably three times a week we eat seafood and we eat a wide variety of seafood um, we have uh, these frozen salmon burgers, they're Alaskan salmon burgers that we buy and then I just throw those on my George Foreman grill just for like uh, eight minutes and grill them and then I serve that with either a salad or some kind of vegetable and we'll have that. Another thing that we have is flounder. Uh, we found these frozen flounder fillets that are local. I live in Massachusetts and the name of the company on the package is a Massachusetts company so I'm thinking that uh, the most famous fishing place in the United States is Gloucester, Massachusetts. I don't know if any of you saw that movie A Perfect Storm which is about Gloucester fishermen but uh, it's a huge huge fishing area in Massachusetts and the company that catches this flounder is Gloucester so it's local which makes me feel feel really good about eating it because it's probably extremely fresh so anyways um we have flounder with either a salad or a vegetable and um, a lot of times I'll cook brown rice with that just to kind of supplement it because my husband has got a big appetite so if I just give him flounder and a salad or flounder and a vegetable it's not going to be enough for him so I usually cook some brown rice to go with that and then the other nights that we don't have seafood I make either something like Italian food like um, I'll make like a sauce and uh, I'll make a uh, spinach lasagna or I'll make a sauce and then cook some pasta and have that with it or um, you know something along those lines sometimes I just kinda invent things too where I'll just throw things together my husband loves anything that involves tomatoes tomatoes tomato sauce salsa anything that's got tomatoes in it he loves it so I try to make some kind of Italian type dish once or twice a week because I know he loves the tomato flavor. I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes but I will eat stuff that has tomato sauce but I don't like just regular old tomatoes which I kind of wish that I did like it because they look so good but I just never really cared for the taste of tomatoes but I will eat things with tomato sauce. Matter of fact like last night for supper what I did was I started off chopping some onions and I threw those in a pan and cooked them in some olive oil until they like started to break down and got tender. Then I added a whole package of fresh spinach and threw that in there and just kept stirring it with the onions until the spinach started to collapse and break down. Then I added a can of crushed tomatoes and if you've ever cooked with crushed tomatoes when you open the can it's almost like tomato sauce but it's thick and so I dumped a big big can of crushed tomatoes in there then I added um, garlic powder oregano and some black pepper I don't cook with salt because I have to I'm very sensitive to salt 
uh, in terms of my blood pressure so I don't really cook with any salt so whatever salt we get is just whatever has been added to the ingredients that I used to cook with so I'm sure there was some salt in that can of crushed tomatoes um, so that's the only salt that would be like in that dish and then I um, let's see what else did I add I think that was it so onions fresh spinach spices and crushed tomatoes and then I stirred it up I brought it to a boil and then I let it simmer for about a half hour covered on top of the stove and then I just cooked some pasta and when the pasta was done cooking and the sauce had been simmering for a half an hour I just mixed the pasta into the sauce and that's what we had for dinner and I made enough that we can have it again tonight and I just need to heat up the leftovers so that's an example of something that I would make for an Italian dish and then the other thing that I usually make is like a spinach lasagna and it's kinda similar to what I just said except for it's got you know cheese layered with the lasagna noodles and the sauce and everything oh yeah that was the other thing I did when I served that dish last night we just sprinkled some cheese on the top and then um the other thing that I make is quinoa and I usually will cook some quinoa separately and then I'll cook um, onions. We're really big on onions and garlic in my house. Um, I'll cook some onions and olive oil on the stove and then um, I'll add some kind of like vegetable. It doesn't matter to me whether it's fresh or frozen or just any kind of vegetable anything from spinach broccoli um, anything I'll add to the onions and then I'll throw in some spices I've been cooking with some Indian spices lately I don't know if any of you are familiar with garam masala that's actually a combination of Indian spices I love the way that tastes or I'll just put other spices and so I'll cook the onions and vegetables and spices and then I'll cook some quinoa separately and then when everything is done cooking I'll put some of the quinoa on a plate and then put the vegetable mixture with the spices on top and we'll just eat it like that and I'll just cook like a large quantity and then my husband can take as much as he wants because if I don't make a ton of food then he's always looking for something unhealthy later on so that's basically the way we eat for dinners and then for lunch I have just a small container of yogurt and some fruit and I buy like a variety of fruit I buy everything from blueberries to apples and everything in between so I just have like a small serving of fruit and my yogurt for lunch and that's all I have for lunch for breakfast I just eat like boxed cereal I've been buying Special K there are so many varieties of Special K cereal now that it's unbelievable. I like the ones with the dehydrated berries in them or I'll buy the ones with the uh, yogurt clusters and I'll just add some milk and I'll just have a bowl of cereal for breakfast. I used to eat very different. I used to cook like eggs and toast and stuff for breakfast but I really have been trying to stop eating um, so many um, fried things like when I cook food and I say fried I usually cook things in olive oil it's so much healthier and it tastes so good I love the taste of olive oil and um, we eat a lot of salads with our dinners or I'll, like I said I'll cook a vegetable but I tried to just you know stop eating eggs every morning and the only reason why I was eating eggs and toast it every morning was because I was so hungry but now that I'm really close to my goal weight I can get away with eating a bowl of cereal for breakfast because before I would just get so hungry that I couldn't even make it till lunchtime but uh, the way that I got around that in the beginning was they have these protein cereals now that you can eat and it keeps you fuller longer so I started off with the protein cereals and now that I've gotten used to that I can just eat whatever I want for cereal and I'll make it till lunchtime. so that's I think that's about it oh no there is a couple other things on the weekends 
we treat ourselves. My husband tried soft serve frozen yoga for the first time about a month ago and he loves it. So we go out and get soft serve frozen yogurt on the weekends and we'll either eat it like as lunch or we'll have it like between lunch and dinner and that's a treat. And then another thing that we treat ourselves to on the weekends is pizza. Now I know pizza is really not healthy but we just try to be very careful how much of it we eat. Like instead of going to a a restaurant and getting a big pizza to split between the two of us we'll go to a place that sells it by the slice and I'll get one slice and he'll get two slices and that's how we sort of get around eating pizza and not gaining weight from it because we both absolutely love it now I had been making pizza at home but um, I was buying these kit things and I don't really think that they're that healthy because the crust was all pre-made and everything and um, so it probably had a lot of preservatives and chemicals and stuff in it and I try not to eat a lot of prepared things like that if I can so yeah that's about it that's pretty much what we eat and I think at some point we'll probably get bored with it and I'll need to come up with other ideas but for now we're really happy with the way we've been eating and our weight is very very close to what it should be like I said I'm four pounds overweight my husband is probably right in the range that he should be for his height and everything and um so yeah I hope I didn't leave anything out I think that's about it so that's what I eat basically and it's working for me I feel like I have a lot more energy since I started eating this way and I know that um it's really hard with all the temptations that are out there and uh, there's so much unhealthy food uh, around us constantly that it's really hard to eat healthy but I mainly just try to incorporate as much vegetables and fruit into my diet as I can and then supplement it with seafood or quinoa or pasta or rice or that type of thing so that's about it. It's working for me and so far so good. And um, so that's it. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye.